Welcome to the world of Nadi Astrology. My name is Dr. N. Srinivasan Shastri. In my last video, we had finished about the second house. See, whenever I tell you it is about the second house, that means wherever the Jupiter is placed, from that, that place it is second house from Jupiter. Now here I am concentrating on only the Bhava. Okay? It is not Rasi or anything. Individual planet, significations of the individual planet placed in that Bhava, what it is going to give us or what it is going to tell us. This is what I am concentrating completely in this section. Of course, again, I will take up individual uh, planets and place it in different Bhavas and I will also repeat that because of this confusion. You know why this confusion comes? This is coming because everybody, almost all the learners of astrology have been trained or their minds of training, their mind setup is trained in such a way they will be following the old system of being. Because this is new, it, it takes time to get accommodated and you can see things easily when once you will get the full-fledged knowledge. Till then, you have to be doing your own circus. Okay? But of course, you have to do that circus in a positive manner. Then definitely, you can catch it. Okay? It is not only teaching. It is connected with your intuition, your way of perceiving things. As soon as you hear something from the board, or something from me, you have to analyze it for yourself to know the truth in that. Unless and until, just by listening to me or just by following to whatever I have said, it will not do any good. Okay? Right. I told you that today we are going to take up with <coughs> the third house. Third house from Jupiter. What does the third house say? Third house tells about the travels. Third house tells about the brother or younger sibling. Okay? Third house tells about the younger sibling. Third house tells about Losses. Third house tells about communication. So these many things third house tells us. Okay. So when third house is empty without any planet as aspect, what we are going to do? We are going to take third house Lord and its placement to know or to get the detailed significations or to have a look at the significations and the placement of the third house lot to tell exactly what each signification will be narrating. Follow it? I will repeat. If there is no planet in the third house. If there is no planet aspecting the third house, we can take the placement of the third house lord for knowing all the details about the third house. So many significations. All these things can be known through that placement. Okay? Fine. Now, we have got one chart and uh, based on that only we will run the show. Clear? Here, third house. K2 is there. So let me forget this chart. Let us take it from the sun, the planet sun. From there we will begin, place it in the third house and see what happens. 
I will come again. Now we are going to place sun in the third house or we are going to take into consideration sun's aspect to, towards the third house or we are going to take into consideration the placement of third house lord. <coughs> okay? Or the sun's aspect on third house lord. Clear? This is it. Because we are now taking up sun, if at all sun is placed in the third house from Jupiter, any third house, any sign or Rasi Jupiter may be placed, any sign or Rasi when Jupiter is placed, from there the third house gives us all these below mentioned significations. Now for example we are going to put there sun. Here it is Ketu. You forget about Ketu. From the beginning let us make a, what do you call it, format from the planet 1, Sun. When Sun is there, okay, and Jupiter is there in the first house, third house Sun is placed. When Sun is placed in the third house, it creates differences. So what is Sun? Sun is the father. <coughs> So when son is the father, the native, he or she, if they have son in the third house, there will be difference of opinion with the father, first point. Second point, about inner strength. About inner strength. Inner strength will be very good, strong. Inner strength will be, these people will be bold, strong, they can face anything. Such will be the mentality of the native, he or she, when they are having sun in the third house from Jupiter. Immaterial of any Rasi or sign, exaltion, revelation, that of course I will come to you when I take up planets study. Not now. I don't want to confuse you all with too many things at one stretch. Okay. When sun is there, these are the things, travels. Because one of the third or significations is travels. So when you take travels into consideration, if you want to know about the travels of the native, who is having Jupiter, I mean who is having sun in the third house, he will be having travels towards either the cities or because sun is a deity pilgrimage trips these things are holy waters bath is different pilgrimage trips is different there is a bifurcation don't get confused and mix them both clear this is one thing if you treat it as third house the younger sibling the native may be a male or a female. If sun is placed in the third house from Jupiter, a material of Jupiter's placement in any Rasi or sign, third house sun tells us that the native will have a younger brother. Okay. How will he be? What he is going to do? That will be noticed later. Right now, one, one, one thing at a stretch, this is the result. So, younger sibling over, brother over, losses. There are chances for the native to uh, meet with losses. It may be financial losses or some sort of loss through the father, when father is staying in the when sun is placed in the third house from Jupiter in middle of Jupiter's placement any sign or any Rasi and in middle of whether it is a male chart or a female chart this is what sun tells us clear now let us take moon when you consider moon the planet moon in the third house <coughs> 
when moon is there in the third house it tells us about travels mother strength okay inner strength so travels mother inner strength losses because moon is the significator of mother mind okay all these things are given by the planet moon see one thing i tell you all it is very easy instead of breaking our heads we can just look at the planet and its placement how far it is away from the jupiter or in which house it is from jupiter based on the significations moon is going to give us we can tell the native he or she about the significations and the depth of significations clear now moon let us take moon in the third house from jupiter let jupiter may be placed in any of the signs or rasis if moon is placed in the third house from jupiter it says that there will be difference of opinion between the native and the mother it says of course that i leave it to you all you can just go through and come to one decision it's only we are interacting about study we are not arguing on a study so i don't want to take that argument i leave it to you for decision this is what i have observed okay and when moon is in the third house from jupiter the native will have lot of travelings travelings to a different state travelings to a different land lot of travels will be noted and moon is a soft planet so the inner strength of the person who is having the native it may be he or she the native having moon in the third house from jupiter will have less inner strength they will not bold enough they may talk talking is different in a strength means fighting against things they will have their fears so that is this condition clear and another one more thing happens for people who have moon in the third house these people are prone to unnecessary blames i'll repeat these people get unnecessary accusations or blames from others even if they are not involved in the act without their involvement without the native's involvement the blames will come upon them throughout their life okay this is the speciality of moon in the third house from jupiter clear losses these people i told you they will travel a lot not only traveling whenever you find moon in the third house they will be on the move they cannot stay quiet even for a minute they will be doing something or the other why traveling for that it is not only traveling even day to day actions it will be fast they cannot stay in one place they will be moving out as soon as they go out they will come back so so many things moon makes them okay so this moon losses also in traveling it will be major sudden losses may be seen loss of luggage loss of money anything clear mind moon is also mind when moon is placed in the third house from jupiter definitely it will give the person depression this is what i have noticed now i will leave it to you all you can do whatever you want with that planet and try to find out how far i was right clear no so this is about moon Be the uh, significations the beauty in the significations of the moon when placed in the third house from jupiter now next we will go to mars why i am telling you all about the planet individually because if i say something about the third house if i talk about a malefic if i talk of a benefic again people will ask me in the comments if at all there is mars in there 
If at all there is Saturn in there in the third house. So to clear their doubts once for all, I am giving you all the planets placed. I am not putting conjunction of planets in the third house. There, each planet, those bifurcations, you can take and put them in one slot and get your own prediction part of it there. If Venus is there, these people will gain money through Venus, uh, through traveling. Such things you can go, you can come out all by yourself. Okay? So Mars, see, travels, third of younger, uh, younger sibling, younger, I think, <coughs> excuse me, I call, call it as a younger brother, okay, and it is husband in case of a female child, Mars is a husband in case of a female child chart uh, communication Mars is a husband in case of a female chart losses travel sources are there that is pertaining to third house I am just mingling up both the strength the inner strength of a personality communication now here, when Mars is placed in the third house from Jupiter, the middle of Jupiter's placement in any other houses, in any Rasi, in any sign, a middle whether it is a male chart or a female chart, both male or female, Mars denotes about the younger sibling. So immediately after Jupiter, you have Moon, uh, Mars. It tells us that. He has a younger brother. If at all there is nobody here, if there is Ketu or Rahu, then this will be the last one. The Jupiter, the native will be the last one. Clear? This part point I have already explained in my last video. So now third house mass. If it is younger sibling, I mean if it is regarding younger sibling. The he, the native, will have a younger sibling, female chart or male chart. She or he will have a brother, younger brother. If it comes for a female chart, I told you for a female chart it is husband. Mars is nothing but husband. There will be difference of opinion between the husband and the lady. This is what Mars in the third house tells us. Strength. Yes. These people who have Mars in the third house, they are ready for anything. They are very bold, very strong. When they get into anger, they can do anything. Okay? Let me not go further than that. You people try to hunt for yourselves. I know. I know where I have seen this set in so many, this type of planetary positions in so many criminal records. Please don't mistake me. It is not my job to point out to any one particular individual with only one particular aspect. There are chances of these things. So, take care. Okay? And not all of them are not are like this. Other planetary aspects, positions will also give a different view but in the general conditions it will be that right so inner strength is more bold enough they can do anything especially with the aspect of Saturn they will be able to do anything travels yes they travel on purpose for the enjoyment on purpose in the sense two things will be there they will plan for it have an enjoyment trip plus on purpose for something losses yes these people will definitely have a loss while travel it may be minor accidents it may be loss of money loss of luggage loss of something not always periodical strike there is a periodical strike not from the age of one not at the age of 12 not at the age of 13 only any time there is a periodic time and a schedule for that to happen, that incident to happen. Okay?
strength is over, losses is over, communication. People were having so Mars in the third house from Jupiter. Immediately, whether it is a male chart or a female chart, they will have a knack of communicating, a knack of do, uh, passing on the information. They will have their own beautiful methods and they are very good at that. Though it is a malefical, at least it is doing one thing good. Clear? Yes. So, husband, younger brother, everything is over. Now, next we will go to Mercury. When it comes to Mercury, it tells us about academic career and also intelligence. Okay? Academic career, intelligence is the job of the Mercury and also the childbirth. Not the child, child is uh, Jupiter because Mercury is a very young person. So, the child birth, only child birth I can note there. And it is not about husband, it is about relatives. Neighbors also you can call it. Neighbors. So, when we have got Mercury in the third house from Jupiter, immaterial of the placement of Jupiter in any Rasi or sign, immaterial of whether it is a male chart or a female chart, Mercury tells us when you talk about strength, inner strength, it is zero level inner strength. These people are introverts. Mercury is an introvert. So, naturally, strength will not be there. Intelligence part, when you take that academic career first, academic career, when you take that into consideration, third house, these people struggle through their academic career unless and until sun or... And also, when sun aspects the Mercury, it will give a good education. But because the third house tells us about traveling, these people have to travel to a different place and study there. There is one more combination to where people with the Mercury or uh, uh, people who travel and study in a different land, different state. That also will come when I take it up with fourth because fourth is the rightly placed academic career point. But because Mercury is about academic career, keeping that in view, we are trying to link the third house significations. That's all. Neighbors, yeah, Mercury is about neighbors. Third us, difference of opinion, communication, I told you. So there will be difference of opinion between the native, he or she, and the relatives. Who has, the native who has Mercury in the third us from Jupiter. Neighbors, the native will have problems with the neighbors also. The native will have problems with the, native, with the neighbors. Unnecessarily. Okay. This is about Mercury in the third house. Ah, childbirth. Delayed childbirth. Because Mercury is a small child, I told you. Any new entry into the house is denoted by Mercury. Whenever the transiting Jupiter touches the uh, touches or aspects aspected by Mercury, then only the new entry of a child is about to happen. So the, about the child, delayed. New entry is delayed because it is in the third house. Now, of course, we cannot take Jupiter because Jupiter is the main point for us. We'll go to Venus. What is Venus? Venus in a man's chart, it is wife. Venus in a male chart, it is wife. And money and travels, losses, strength, okay, um, vehicles,
sister. Clear? So, <clears throat> when Jupiter has Venus in the third house, it tells about a wife in case of a male chart. But in general, a material of male or female chart, it tells about sister, younger sibling. So this native will have a sister when Venus is placed there. And losses. When we take losses into consideration, definitely these people will lose money while on travel. Maybe they lose their wallet or cut some cards. Something will happen. That is for sure. When we take, when we take about money, third house, the loss that is also there because Venus, Venus is money. Communication. These people speak very softly, very beautifully. Here two things. Vakistanam also tells us about uh, talking. That's only talking. Communicating, you are, you are going to put it in a different form and what talking will put it in a different form. Communicating means how to make a person understandable. That is communicating. Talking is nothing but just blabbering out whatever you have got in your mind. The style of your talk. So there is a difference between communicating and talking. This is what I have noticed. So communication will be very beautiful. Venus in the third house tells us that sister, the native will have a sister, immaterial whether it is a male chart or a female chart, the native will have a sister. Strength, inner strength will be, because we, Venus is a female planet, inner strength will be less. Clear? Vehicles, yes, they will enjoy vehicles. And they get, while they travel, maybe any travel, any, or any place, they will travel with a class mode of transportation. For example, it is by car, they'll pick up a very high-end car. If, it's, if it is by flight, they'll try to select the best mode of transport there also. I mean, best uh, availability facilities there also. So this is about their travel. Venus is such a beautiful and luxurious planet. Okay. And when it is wife in case of a male chart, there will be difference of opinion between the male and the female. I'm not telling you they're going to get separated. I'm not telling you they're going to what call it, uh, stay away or uh, stay aloof. They will have differences of opinion for each and everything and tensions will be rolling in the marital life. Clear? Now we'll go to Saturn. What all Saturn tells us? We know about third house. No, because I've been completely repeatedly telling you all about the third house. No, Saturn. What is Saturn? Profession. Actions. Obstacles. Obstacles, um, profession, Saturn, ob obstacles, death. When you link these significations to the third house significations, or when you want to speak about third house significations, you have to just peep into the Saturn significations to give them a precise prediction. This is only reading only, it is not prediction. Right now you are having a chart and chart it looks like this and now you are trying to notice what is there in each house before telling that person or the native who is sitting in front of you and how far you can be accurate in telling him things which will shake him or which will keep him, keep, keep him just glued to the seat. This is what I am trying to give you. So Saturn about profession, when you got Saturn in the third house, if you take about the inner strength, because third house quality is inner strength, let us forget about the profession, we'll come to that profession later. When you talk about the third house, <clears throat> third house inner strength, 
If at all Saturn is placed in the third house from Jupiter, immaterial of the sign, immaterial of the male or female chart, those people will be strong, bold. They can fight for anything, just like Mars. Mars was different. Mars will have criminal tendencies, but Saturn is different. Stubbornness, ruling, dictatorship. This will be the nature. One thing. Second thing is, when Saturn sits in the third house, I told you third house is the symbol. According to Saturn's placement, third house, the brother will be a brother or sister will be delayed after the Jupiter. There will be the delayed birth of the brother or sister. It is not immediate. There will be a wild gap between the uh, Jupiter and the younger sibling. And the younger sibling may be female, may be male, according to the other planets' aspects on Saturn. Placement, the well placement of Saturn tells us whether it is a male or female. You cannot easily jump into it as a sister, just like Venus. No. Profession or losses. Yeah. Whenever Saturn is there in the third house from Jupiter, there are times when these people, the natives, will, will face problems in their profession. If it is business, business. If it is profession, profession. They may quit the business or quit the profession frequently or continue with something else. Or they may be changing the profession pattern or uh, inside the profession, uh, business pattern or inside the profession, a different placement. All these things are done by the third house. When it when Saturn is placed in the third house, it hits on the profession. Clear? Actions. I told you. These people are very stubborn. They will do actions. They are not bothered about your approval. They do actions according to their thoughts. They are daring. Obstacles. In profession only they will find the obstacles because third Saturn is profession and it is it's also obstacles. Now third house. Obstacles in travel, obstacles in profession, everything. Okay? And for travelling also, they'll be having have very good transportations. Any mode, but it'll be on a high end. That will be there. Sometimes these people Try to go for long distance cycling. I think you, you might have heard about people going to from one country to another country by cycling. Some great actions are uh, what you call it. I know about all these things, but some people are there enough to do such acts. Not climbing mountain, yeah, climbing mountain also you can add. But long because this is how this is uh, speaking about traveling, we can say that. These people, the natives, action will be traveling to long distance from Kashi to Kanyakumari, uh, Kashi to Kanyakumari, or from Kashmir to Kanyakumari. And there are people uh, who will just uh, they want to make a record or something like that. Such things are these are the qualities for such people. I mean, this is the planetary combinations for the for those types of people, right? So obstacles and about death. I'll come, I'll come finally when I come there into the 12th house or 8th house, you know, I'll come there. 12th house, the cause or um, place of death, 8th house is longevity. So when I talk about that, that then I'll take care of that. Right now I don't want to disturb your minds with this. So Saturn is over. Now Rahu. 3rd house stands still. Inner strength. Losses, but Rahu is different. Dryness, okay, shadows, okay, beginning. When Rahu stays at the third house from Jupiter, in middle of the male or female chart. Rahu is dryness. So, these people will not have younger siblings. We can take for that matter even Ketu. Because let us rush into the job. Rahu is dryness. So, there will be no younger siblings. That will be the last. Clear? Of course, if you have 
in the second world, if you have somebody, some male or female planet, definitely there is, after the Jupiter, there is one uh, younger sibling and then nobody. That you can say. Kindly note, when I say three, I am talking about three only. If at all in between that, if you find a male or a female planet, note it that there is one more brother, one more sister before Rahu. Rahu is the final point. Okay. Inner strength. Rahu is dryness, I told you. Nothing will be there. They are scary. They are always scared. Especially in their childhood days. Especially the native in their childhood days. Immaterial whether he or she who has Rahu in the third house from Jupiter will be very scary and so many times they will get fever out of fear. In the childhood days these things happen. Communication. They are not proper in communicating also. They cannot uh, convey what exactly they want to convey. This is the main problem with the communication. I am not talking about the talking point. I am talking about the communicating way for to make mm -hmm. others understand. They feel, feel it difficult. So, no strength and traveling, unnecessarily traveling. I told you, dry traveling. Traveling is unnecessary. So, Rahu is over here. Ketu. When you take Ketu into consideration and put him in the third house, this is the ending. Pilgrimage. Okay? Ending pilgrimage, holy waters bath. Holy waters bath. And uh, uh, what do you call it? Ceremonies for the dead. For dead. Now, Ketu in the third house. Ketu in the third house from Jupiter, immaterial of male or female chart, will tell us that the native will be having no strength, but still blindly he wants to fight and win. He will try to create the strength, the what you call it, uh, braveness, and then he will move forward. We call it a stubbornness, no? They show their stubbornness in moving through, though they are having their fear inside their hearts. Boldly. I mean, it's not exactly boldly. Though they have fear in their heart, they try to move forcefully, blindly. That is Ketu. Ketu in the third house, when, it, when we talk about traveling, these people will have a lot of traveling through the holy waters bath or watery places. And Ketu is there. In case if we don't find any planet between Jupiter and Ketu, third house, definitely Jupiter is the last child of the family. This is how Ketu is coming to. I mean, this is how the use of Ketu is shown for the third house. Holy what is about the whole ceremonies? Ceremonies for the dead. Most of the times, these people, the native will get a chance of traveling for uh, for attending death ceremonies. Of course, other ceremonies are also there. Most of the times, these people, they will be forced to go out on a travel for attending death ceremonies. Ending, I told you about the brother. Inner strength, I told you. So, here the third house ends. I don't know how far you people have understood, but in whatever easiest way I could put my knowledge into the YouTube, I have tried for people who love this subject. Because if you have got love towards anything, you will just pour water and see that it grows. Okay, so this is what the real love is. You will see that it will not wither away. You will see that it is going to grow into a very great plant. Meanwhile, that plant will give you perfection. That plant will give you name and fame. 
So it depends upon how you handle it. Not me. I will stop at this corner. But further you are going to run with that subject. So I wish you all the best to take into a different angle. In the same process if you like it. Or if you have got, if God has given you a very beautiful gift, you can mend these things only into a different form and sell it differently. I'm not, I'm joking. Don't sell it. Try to help others. Okay. Of course, I'm also, I, sometimes I also sell things. Sell things means I'm not selling all, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, rings or uh, talismans. No, 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 not that. Selling my words. <laughs> okay, okay. Jokes apart. Now, we have finished about the third house. In my next video, we are coming up with the fourth house. Again and again, I repeat, fourth house is nothing but immaterial of the Rasis. From Jupiter, the fourth house I will be talking. What all the fourth house significations are there? And when each planet is placed in that fourth house, what is the outcome? This is only I am going to tell you in my next uh, video. Okay. So, till I meet you next time, I think I will bet 